Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lena. We're more than a channel world community. Today, I'll be opening up more fake Pokemon cards, highly requested by a lot of people out there. But I will be giving another highly requested thing. I will be giving away all the cards that I pull, even though they're fake. A lot of people wanted these. So every card that I pull, I'll be giving away to one lucky winner. Simply subscribe to this channel, Leonhardt, like this specific video, and comment below your favorite card that I pull. And we have no idea what we are going to get in these boxes. I've opened up two of these boxes, and each time there has been different cards. So there it is. It comes in a nice flimsy paper, but we can take a quick look at the back again. Blaze your way to glory and watch the sparks fly when you play Pokemon TCG. XY Steam Siege, and there's no space over there. So you can take a look at the rest yourself. However, it's not just Steam Siege. This is like... Ra the most randomest cards you are going to see all the way up to even evolution. So let's take a let's hopefully start opening this up. That wasn't too difficult. And let's see what we can do. I hope everybody's having a great weekend so far. Expect another amazing video this week. Oh, that was much more difficult than I thought. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Tss Nothing like turned over booster packs in the morning. So let's take a look at all of them. I'm actually not sure how many come with this box. Somebody that's watching this video can comment and let me know in the comment section how many do come, but you can instantly notice the difference between a real and fake pack. These right here, they do in, they do look good and feel good. However, if you take a closer look, you can tell that the colors are definitely off. But if you just go like this, you can't tell. They definitely look real, especially the backs. The backs XA in poorly print so it's just a matter of looking to make sure they're real or not but i'm going to go through every single pack right now as you can see my hands are nice and clean for some reason there is some weird substance that's on this so get ready for this a mega septile ex and every single card is i'm going to be going through this a lot faster than normal so get ready for some fun fake pokemon cards nido king break that anorith ruffleth larvesta and a relicanth all right let's keep on going here i'm also giving away pre-release boxes from the new series guardians rising as you can see in the back and that guardians rising booster box oh, a caesar ex magikarp army and the Slowbro EX. Some of them are some of them are backwards. Oh you can't go wrong when you get the Pikachu EX from the promotional Pikachu box. I mean that's what's so fun about these packs is you literally have no idea what you're gonna get in each pack. Oh a dark rye EX. A paint roller. Discard any <laughs> see these are just so random. The Machamp break, Doug Trio, and they're all from different series that are out there. So if you haven't already, strap your seatbelt in and get ready for some fake Pokemon cards coming at you. Please be sure to go check out my past boxes of fake Pokemon cards. These are all upside down, and then that one is not. The lovely Gyarados, Porygon Z, the Pikachu from Generations, and the Bravery. And so, as I said, it's not just Steam Siege in these booster packs. You can get Generations a la this Ninetales EX. Look at that. That is awesome. A lot of times they're also backwards. How many EX cards can we get in this pack? Oh, if that were real. The Mega Charizard EX from Flashfire, I believe. Mega Venusaur EX. And honestly, I don't even know how these are made other than the fact that they're made from China. Oh, a Mega Steelix EX, Magikarp Army, Vileplume Slowbro EX, and another Pikachu Elgem and the Ace Trainer. So a lot of times with these boxes, um, they are legit as far as fake Pokemon cards goes, but that only goes so far as far as fake cards goes. These are like the cream of the crop as far as fake, fake Pokemon cards that you can get. I got these off of eBay. So you should, I don't know, I wouldn't recommend going to get, oh, look at that Diglett. That's a very cool one. I wouldn't recommend going to get them unless you are, oh, unless you are absolutely sure that you are getting what you want. It's always best to look at the positive and negative reviews when you're on eBay. And I say that for this one because this person, oh, 
that is a beautiful Mega Alakazam EX. And if you just go like that, it looks real. Even the back, as you can see right there. It, it's, it's a bit lighter, and if you actually touch the cards, you, you'll definitely... Oh, another one! Oh my goodness. You'll definitely notice the difference between real cards and fake cards. But it is fun. Definitely check the reviews when you are buying these cards. We got the nice Giratina EX. Every single pack, there is literally an EX card or some type of mega card. This is always fun. And a lot of people requested me to do another box. And that is what I'm here for. So please do remember to leave a like if you do want the chance to win all of these fake cards. And believe me or not, you're saying, Leonhard, no one's going to care about fake cards, but you are wrong. One of my fake Pokemon Booster Punks openings was like a massive viewed video. And there were tons of people wanting the cards. Oh, is that a Mega Altaria EX? Very nice. Can we get another? No, we can't, but we can get another paint roller. Let me make sure the cards aren't splattering everywhere. They're over here. My hands. See, as you can see, they're getting a bit darker now. So there's some type of oily mixture on here. A very nice Houndoom EX. He's the Doom. The Houndoom. These are all upside down. I don't know if you care, since they're just uncommons and commons, except that Venusaur EX. Now, the Venusaur EXs, the Charizard EXs like this, which I believe are from they shouldn't be from generations but if they, if they are they could be then they're from evolutions and those are so common in these boxes so you can start off your own oh another nine tails ex you can start off your own little fake pokemon card collection now there are actual fake cards out there that are very real looking but they're not real but you should probably definitely check up on videos to make sure What's the difference between a fake card and a real card? I know Primetime Pokemon, my good old friend Primetime, he did a video on that, so you should definitely go check that out. He definitely knows his stuff. I mean, he's been doing it for like almost a decade now, if not more, actually. I think he's been doing it for 12 years because he started like right at the beginning of YouTube, I believe. So, and oh, that is awesome. A ho -O -E -X, and. Speaking of that card, that card will be coming out in a GX form very soon. Slowbro GX. That will be coming out in a GX form in the new Burning Shadows, I believe it's called, after the Guardians Rising series, which is not even official release. So you can go check out the uh, my openings of two Guardians Rising booster boxes. There's the Charizard again. You can go check out that opening, both of those openings, because I got some amazing full art cards in those. You know, and something I did want to talk about, the uh, first edition, I'm kind of doing this while I'm like opening these cards really fast because a lot of them are repeats, so it's okay if I just continue saying what's on my mind. If you go on eBay, you can see there are auctions for the first edition Charizard cards from the base set. I'm talking about the holy grail of English Pokemon cards, not the Japanese cards, because there's like the illustrator cards and stuff, but for American cards, there's the first edition Charizard, PSA 10, Gem Mint, oh, that's a very nice one, and those things are going for so much money right now. It's insane with how much those things are going for. It began with like two months ago, there's some auction sites out there i don't know they kind of have like a monopoly on like a ton of the first edition charizards oh that's a very cool looking card the entei and they started doing the auction and one of them went for thirteen thousand dollars auction yes us dollars thirteen thousand dollars and then every other few weeks or every other week i guess you can say they kept on doing the auctions and it kept on going up to sixteen thousand seventeen thousand 18,000 was the most recent one that went. And the worst part is, ladies and gentlemen, I myself had one of those back in 2013, maybe even 2012, I think it was. And I sold it to pay rent for $2,600. And they're now going for $18,000. Yeah. There's not a day goes by that I... 
that I don't cry about it. <laughs> That's literally like a down payment on a house that costs more than cars that can do so much these days, but power to the people that do have those in your collection. It's it's a card that it you know, it me hop up anonymous. It means a lot to so many people just because of the nostalgia that it symbolizes and just it kind of it's like it's essentially like the Holy Grail. Now there's I think 107 of them last time I checked the PSA database. And if you don't know what the PSA database is or PSA in general, it's the Professional Sports Authenticators. They are a grading company and they kind of have like the monopoly over Pokemon cards at the moment over Beckett. Uh, Beckett is still a very good company, so I suggest also getting your cards graded, but they grade your cards, give it a scale of one to 10. And they also encapsulize it in plastic and they protect it. And when you get it graded, it gives it such more value. Hence the first edition Charizards from Bayset going for that much money, which is insane. Can these can these be upside, not upside down? And other slow bro EXs. The slow bro EXs, Venusaur EXs, and Charizard EXs are very prominent in these packs. So let's. We are coming down. We still got several remaining, but maybe I'm looking for that Pikachu Christmas card. We don't. Oh, look at that. We haven't pulled that one. A Mega Caesar EX. That is awesome. I'm putting that over here in the in the awesome pile. So for whoever wins these cards, you're going to get some nice fake looking cards, but they are awesome. Nonetheless, I'll also save the box for everybody. Uh, so I can send them in the box itself, and y'all can take a look and uh, hopefully cherish them, or do whatever you want with them. It's no biggie. You can do whatever you want. Oh, very nice. A Mega Gardevoir EX. A lot of them are very shiny, very colorful. Forgot my sunglasses, but that's okay. We got the Flareon, and we are coming down to the final packs. I've kind of sped through this. I know you can go check out for a much slower opening. You can go check out my other fake Pokemon Booster Box openings, but we care more about just checking out what's in these. All oh, the very nice Mega and Pharos EX. See, pretty much every every single pack, you are getting something good. So, still looking out for that Pikachu Christmas card. And we did a little repeating action right here. Mega Gardevoir EX, the Xerneas, Fletchling, Gyarados, Golurk, Baltoy, Energy Jewel, Spinarak. So one thing I'm very sad about, there hasn't been any Natus. Natus, how do you do's? You can all say it if you want on the side. There hasn't been any in these packs. Every single time, I think I get it right and then they're, they're upside down, but that's okay. We are coming close to the end. We have two packs remaining in this fake Pokemon Cards Booster Box opening where I'll be giving away all the packs by simply subscribing, liking, and commenting your favorite pull. Like, it could be this Mewtwo EX. Your favorite pull from this opening. Let's take a look. That Entei is a very nice looking card. We're down to the last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? I don't know what that entails. Maybe getting four EXs in a row. <laughs> we have a good start. We have the Zygarde EX. Can we get some other ones? <gasps> Blastoise EX. I see more in the back. Oh, just a Nido King break. Well, I hope you enjoyed this fake Pokemon cards booster box opening. Please leave a like if you did. My name is Leonard. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see y'all in my next video.